watching Fox 24 News at 9. The University of Arkansas hosts an open discussion about sexual assault tonight, just days after texts and social media posts circulated, saying that women were being lured into sex trafficking around campus. Welcome to Fox 24 News at 9. I'm Chelsea Helms. Peyton Yeager spent the day on campus to find out what is true and how community leaders hope to promote a healthy dialogue. Girls have been um, attacked or almost abducted. It's hard to like not leave my dorm. I do think some of it is true. A whirlwind of rumors blurring the line between fact and fiction. I heard people on my floor talking about it and everyone in my classes, and it's just all over campus. This scare started over the weekend when social media posts surfaced the internet saying men were looking to abduct women around the University of Arkansas. If just one person says something, then everybody believes it, even if it's not true. But that's not the case when it comes to reporting sexual assault. A panel was held tonight called Fearless Conversation. Notable community leaders like Evelyn Sakia Matthews emphasized breaking the silence concerning sexual assault and sexual harassment. If you could put one person who saw something with another person who saw something with another person that saw something, then we have a picture, and that's important. However, Fayetteville Police released a statement after questions arose around the attempted abduction, saying in part, the police department has received no calls or reports that this occurred. What if it's not a rumor? What if it's really true? Now, we can't find that out unless someone comes forward and says something about it so that... God forbid if it is true, we need to stop it. So while Matthew says a social media frenzy is possible in this specific situation, the victims she sees are far from calling out their abusers. What do people always say when someone's arrested for something finally and they tell you this person did it 10 times? Well, why didn't it law enforcement or why did no one stop them? Because they didn't know. In Fayetteville, Peyton Yeager, Fox 24 News. The Title IX office was also at that panel tonight. A sexual assault report from 2017-2018 is set to be released this Friday by the university.